I'm going to do this Japanese umbrella style because it's so it went from uh, rain to uh, sunny and hot. So 302, Boss Mustang. It's a real shaker scoop. 302 was in 1970. 70 is my favorite year. Sixty-nine and seventy is my favorite years. Seventies actually probably. Sixty-nine and seventy are both my favorite years on Mustangs. Probably everybody else too. But you even notice, like I mean, today this engine looks like really uncomplicated, but back in the day. You know, these were already getting like, oh, these neutral modern engines were getting to be hard to work on. That's what they, you know, that's what they were saying back then in the 70s compared to the cars in the 50s. You know, they were saying these are really tight to work on and stuff. Believe it or not, in retrospect, <laughs> so if you even got a car in the 90s, you better keep it. <laughs> you like a freaking, you know, everybody throws it away because they think, oh, it's getting to be this and that, but... And I always liked these high bike bucket seats. And my friend, he put it, he put a set of those in his uh, '66. '66, he put it in a high bike bucket seats from a Mach One in it. And then he had the shifter from the Jeep that went up to the uh, the what do you call it? <laughs> uh, the windshield, the mirror, the wind, the rear mirror, rear view mirror. That's what you need. Just keep, just keep the sun out, man. And you think about back then, this was like rocket ship series. You know, it's still like today, the interior still looks bitching as all hell. You know? It's like, I don't think I improved nothing today, to tell you the truth, man. Because you got a bunch of bean counters out there freaking trying to save money. For you see how much they can make off a car by. All they do today is they make a plastic car and they put a different headlight lenses on them. They don't even do nothing with the body anymore. You don't do nothing anymore. This is a really super nice car, man. You got the uh, nice spoiler in the front there for air dam. Nice stance. What you gotta do is paint it orange and put a zero one on it and put a Confederate flag on it and you're all set, right? Ah. <laughs> 